Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Nilesh. I'm working with uh, Bridge Labs as an alumni relations manager. We have Varun with us who has completed a Bridge Labs program and now he's working with uh, Deep Compute as a web app developer. So, hi, Varun. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, Nilesh. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Good to have you here today. Uh, would you like to tell us uh, a few things about yourself? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, myself, Warren Kumar, I come from Nellur in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, you know this uh, Srihar Kota rocket launching center. That is the, uh, uh, that's what I can say for the location part. Uh, okay. that, so, so that you will get to know where is the Nellur. And uh, I have completed my diploma in mechanical engineering. And later I have completed my B.Tech in mechanical engineering. So uh, I was struggling a lot at the starting its uh, starting stage to to become a developer, uh, and later I got my one of my friend going through this bridge lab program. What uh, what is the CFP program and uh, RFP program? What is there? And there I have it. There I got to know what is the what is the technologies will be there. What is the uh, company industry level requirements what will be there and they are teaching something else uh, whatever the industry requirement needed so i gone through this and i got uh, opportunity in deep computer now i'm becoming now i'm working as a web developer, oh, web developer. Okay. when did you complete your btech yeah i have completed my btech in 2019 okay so from 2019 uh, and uh, when did you join this program yeah, I joined at uh, 2021. Okay. So, uh, what was the, what were, were you working somewhere in between those two years? Had you, uh, were you doing any other courses? Yeah, it, it started when I completed my BTEC, the corona has uh, impacted so much uh, so that I did not work for in one year. And later I got a job in 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 foresight mechanical foresight i have worked as a ged graduate in the training there i will be working as a, there there the product there we will be doing some production uh, some gypsum boards production in like interior uh, for house we will do interior designs right for that boards we will be okay. making yeah uh, so what was your role there yeah, there I will. Uh, there I will be maintaining daily production reports, and I will. I have to maintain some crucial process. What is whatever the board should be manufactured, that should be maintained. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what uh, what brought you? What uh, you know? What brought you? What uh, changed your mind? And uh, why did you choose to become a you know, developer? Yeah, it's starting itself. Uh, when I when I completed my diploma there itself, I'm trying to, I'm I was trying to come to IT field, but unfortunately I did not got my uh, IT side uh, BTEC uh, BTEC course in IT or else CLC. so I was struggling. Uh, I was struggled a lot in my engineering. So after that corona pandemic, so again I'm not getting these uh, like core languages uh, uh, like uh, IT language, C language, Java. That basics I'm I'm getting fear and I don't know how to sustain there. Why? Because I did mechanical in BTEC and diploma. That's why I was fear a lot. And uh, later, later I do this program and I gone through this. Okay. So from the time you completed your diploma, you you had a dream of becoming a developer. Yes. For yes. some reason, you were not able to you know get into that uh, uh, choose that particular uh, in Yeah, yeah. While joining BTEC. Okay. Yes. And then yes. you. Uh, uh, did the Biz Labs uh, program and now you're working with Deep Compute. Yes. So how is uh, how is your uh, how is your work and how is your experience with Deep Compute? Yeah, that was good. We will be developing some UI part. My my role is to become to do to do the to develop UI part, user interface part for whatever. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you had different front end in a in a way. Yeah. Yeah, front end. Okay. And uh, how uh, how is how does your day go like? Uh, are you are you assigned any project? Yeah, up to now I did not got any project, but uh, um, but for sure, uh, but after one month or one and a half month, I will be getting that project. 
project uh, they have introduced to the project what is that what is that means it is pfizer project do you know this uh, medical but pfizer now they yeah, right, right. yeah they have prepared corona vaccine also right they have that. yes yes for that project uh, i'm going to work mostly they have introduced to that that's it okay so deep computer has uh, pfizer as a client and you yes. are on that uh, you'll be working on that project yes mostly okay so uh, and uh, what do you what can you tell us about the web apps yeah web apps in the sense we'll be making a user interfaces part mostly we will be doing that and and uh, we'll be using some of some of the technologies for react like react angular some flutter like that we'll be using and we will be developing some uh, user interfaces part there we will do okay so for uh, would you uh, what advice means uh, would you like to give your give our viewers it's basically you yourself uh, you know had a dream to become a developer like yes. like you there are thousands and lakhs of uh, students who either uh, you know get to uh, have to choose a different field because of uh, whatever reason it is or some choose a stream and later they realize this is not my uh, you know this is not what i want to do yeah so, uh, uh, realization comes in a little bit later when this actually start working uh, yes. okay uh, similarly you you had a dream when uh, you had you completed your diploma okay yes, and yes. you worked hard and uh, now you have finally become a uh, web app developer yes yes so what what advice do you have to for our viewers yeah uh, what whatever you want to doing that do the do it uh, truly and what you are learning you should know what you are learning but first of all and don't lose a hope and uh, do hard work whatever you're doing that that will make you success right right so because yeah even though uh, you were not keen on doing the btec in uh, you know uh, mechanics but still you completed that course engineering course also completed uh, successfully and now you also completed the bridge labs program and bridge labs programs are also you know uh, requires equal amount of effort from the candidates you know to complete the course and to be placed successfully right yeah yeah okay so uh, guys if you have any question you can post it in the chat room and uh, varun or me we will be happy to you know address it you can also fill the form which i have uh, pasted in the chat room and one of our counselors can get in touch with you so varun i don't think we are getting any question okay yeah uh but thank you for giving your time for this and uh, suddenly this uh, your your story will inspire a lot of people and they will be uh, they will be uh, they, can, they will work towards uh, you know achieving their dreams like you have done for yourself okay so thank you for your time varun have a nice day thank you